Of the nine different species of leopards, the Amur leopard has the most unique pattern on its coat. The Amur leopard's coat has dark rosettes which are large and widely spaced with thick unbroken rings. These rosettes are larger than those seen on other leopards. The Amur leopard's coat is a pale cream color, especially in the winter, to help it camouflage in the snow. The leopard's coat also helps it survive the winter. The length of the leopard's coat varies between 2.5 centimeters in the summer and 7.5 centimeters in the winter. Amur leopard's tongues have tiny rasps or hooks called denticles, which are used to scrape the meat off of the bones of their prey and large sharp canine teeth to rip their prey apart. The Amur leopard is also known to have light blue-green eyes. Amur leopards give a distinctive rasping call rather than a growl. The Amur leopard lives in the easternmost regions of Russia. In the 19th century, the Amur leopards were found from southeastern Russia through northeast China and into the Korean peninsula. Now due to human causes, the leopard is found mainly in a small section in the cold mountain habitats of Russia's far east where much of the year there is deep snow and harsh climates. The Amur leopard's habitat is mostly cold and snowy as a leopard cannot survive where the snow is too deep. The Amur leopard is well adapted to the cold mountain habitats of Russia's far east with its long legs and thick fur which enable it to walk through the snow. When the seasons turn cold, the Amur leopard sheds its shorter golden colored coat in favor of a longer, lighter colored coat which provides it with added insulation and camouflage. The niche of the Amur leopard is quite simple. The Amur leopard's role is to keep the population of other mammals in check as the Amur leopard is the apex predator of its ecosystem. The leopard is hunted by no creature as it is the apex predator but hunts many carnivores and herbivores mainly roe deer, sika deer, badgers, and hares. Clearly, the Amur leopard preys on animals of all sizes, from deer to hares. Since the Amur leopard does not hibernate in the winter, it has the opportunity to easily prey on starved deer and sleeping carnivores. Basically, the Amur leopard is the apex predator in this ecosystem, making it extremely important. The leopard is a nocturnal predator, which stalks its prey with great agility and strength. The leopard is not picky about its food and will eat anything it finds, even dead animals or humans. Clearly, the Amur leopard is extremely important in this ecosystem. Now if the Amur leopard became extinct and out of this food web, population of the badger, roe deer, sika deer, and hare would drastically increase as their main predator is no longer there to prey on them. With the badger's drastic population increase, the population of grub, mice, and berries would drastically decrease as there would no longer be enough to support the large badger population. Not only that, but with the increase of roe deer, sika deer, and hares, the grass's population would dramatically decrease as there would no longer be enough grass to support the ever-growing populations. Lastly, without the Amur leopard, the cabbage's population would increase as its main predator, the grub, would decrease. Clearly, without the Amur leopard, the whole ecosystem becomes out of place, eventually falling apart. If we do not do something now, the few surviving Amur leopards will die out and officially become extinct.